taking a drink, but that's, that's probably sounds better. I yeah. set it up. <laughs> I can't see shit because you're holding your hand over there. Oh, that's what that is. So we're, we're here at True North PHP, about to do a fabulous new shot creation from the line of Jeremy McGowan who we work through. And I, I want to thank my friend Brett here uh, for suggesting the Crown Royale whiskey. Uh, as I understand it, this is this is this is whiskey. This is uh, so there's no way to dress this up. This is Canadian whiskey. It's Canadian whiskey. Uh, it's probably not the best Canadian whiskey, but it's what we have. It's good Canadian. Brett's insisting it's good Canadian whiskey. Thank you for that opinion, Brett. So what we also have here is some uh, some graded. I don't know the grade, but it's the maple syrup that is available at this fine establishment. We're at the Four Point Sheridan out in uh, Mrs. Milwaukee. <laughs> <laughs> the border agent wasn't too impressed with that either. So we have here, if I may ask the bartender's name, John. Uh, he could be making that up as a very common name, but I'll trust that his name is actually John. Uh, so John was kind enough to go back into the kitchen and get us some of this fine grated maple syrup. What we're going to do here is one of these 50-50 shots that I like to come up with because I'm really quite unimaginable with these things and I don't know my way around bars. Uh, so what we have here is 50% Crown Royale whiskey and we're just going to get a shot of the maple syrup bracing this and we can just capture the viscosity here as I believe it's something really special. Uh, so we can get a close-up here just make sure we got this on camera. And there we go. This is going to be the first shot, and I, I was able to find seven lovely guys to do this with me. Uh, so it's going to it's going to be a wild night, uh, and, and hopefully there'll be more to follow. Uh, so there's someone at the far end of the bar, I believe a smartass of sorts, is asking if this is a real drink. So this is absolutely not a real drink, and I'll direct your attention to the pour on the third shot here. That is some phenomenal viscosity that we're getting. You really you cannot get this south of the border. See, unfortunately, that's so yeah. we're still on camera with this. So yeah, this is why you don't use a flip camera. <laughs> so that's our 10W30 uh, maple syrup. <laughs> this is 10 So I actually will use this in my uh, my Volvo later. Uh, great oil changes. I only have to do it every every 7,000 kilometers. I don't know what that is in miles, but you're completely missing out. So we're nearing the end here. We're almost at seven. This. This would be prohibitively expensive south of the Mason-Dixon line, where maple syrup trades at an astonishing rate. <laughs> All of a sudden, the bar's gotten really quiet. Everyone's become very interested in what I do here. And once again, I just want to thank John for indulging me, because this is a very unorthodox request at the Four Point Sheridan at Mississauga, Ontario. <laughs> Little laughter at the end, but we have just enough maple syrup for that. All right, if I can just invite the seven gentlemen that have actually agreed to do this with me. <laughs> And all of a sudden, there's now about eight cameras recording. <laughs> so who's actually doing this? I think yeah. Brett's definitely Brett, Brett's definitely doing this. Uh, Phil Sturgeon Thank you very much. from New York, even though he sounds like a like a, a derogatory term for a British person, which doesn't come to mind. Right? David Limey. Oh, Limey. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> all right, Adam's got one. Uh, Chris Bowden is going to take a break from writing web sockets and also do one of these. Are we gonna? And I believe Adam Adam Ferreira. Anthony. Anthony, I'm sorry. I, oh, no, it's I your brother, him. Adam. <laughs> He's the one we like. Let's get a cheers here. Cheers. I just, so, uh, we do this. We I do just want right. to thank everyone for the uh, an excellent and certainly our, our hosts, Chris and uh, what's your, sorry, what's your name? I Peter. don't even remember <laughs> at this point. For the first <laughs> True North PHP. I think it was a pleasure. And uh, good luck, gentlemen. Oh. It's That's pretty good. Nice. Oh. Hell yeah. I, I wasn't actually drank it. That is. <laughs> That's really nice. That's not bad. No, no complaints. That is, that is actually pretty good. It needs to be mixed a little bit more. But yeah, that's good. I could go for that. Actually, that feels weird going down. Yeah. I can feel it moving down the system. Well, that's the thing. You feel the whiskey first because it's floating on top. And then you get the nice sweet in. It's actually quite nice. Should we do a round of interviews now? Let's do some interviews. So, Anthony, what were your thoughts on that on that shot? It was actually a very, very nice flavor. You know, you had the nice whiskey balanced by the maple leaves. Oh, it was just incredible. I concur. Phil, what was your take? Uh, good, good so far. I promise I'm going to stay rolling for the throw back up shortly. Not bad, not bad. I would certainly commend Brad. He uh, crown royal balanced very nicely with the maple. I, I think it's just crown royal, but. Um, <laughs> Says the French Canadian. <laughs> the quarter French Canadian. I'm actually going to petition the, the Four Point Sheridan in Mississauga to uh, to add that to the menu. I think it's got a bright future ahead of it. I can't believe it took an American to invent. That's, that's a damn shame. It's a damn shame that Americans should have 
I know. <laughs> Most Canadian of all places to write.